Wyver. Winter Wyvern, okay. Now we've seen this here. When you play mid Shadow Fiend as Ninja Boogie, gets a little bit of trouble, but he does have Living Armor, Magic Missile, and a Raze goes Whoa. off. Second Raze will hit as well. Kyo dropping low, but looks like he's going to be fine. Meanwhile, the Poison plus the Boar coming in. Rocket Barrage is going to go on March as well. Looks like the Knight was not going to be there. Arctic Burn chasing on the backside. March running away, but there is going to be... Well, there you go. Well, almost gets the Deny. Jay will finish him off with a Shadow Raze to the foul. Cast. Like, uh, yeah, that it's nature's guy. That nature's guy's definitely done his work. Oh, oh yeah. they're going for March. Call down to set things up. March taking huge damage from the rocket barrage, and oh yeah, that'll be an easy kill. Chrissy will get credit for that one. He just TP's out straight away. Says Cast, good luck to you, sir. And uh, he's going to need it because the sonic wave connects on both, finds the kill on the treant, and also sets up on the venge. Ends up, do they know? Maybe just good game sense that everyone's missing off the map. They saw the medallion on the beastmaster, and they will try to contest. Roche getting low, but Chrissy will come in. This could be a huge call down. He sets it up. Fissure as well. Scream from, or Sonic Wave rather, from QO. He's also got a double damage rune on, but the Echo Slam from Ryo. Oh my gosh, so much damage coming out onto the Dire side. A buyback will come from the Beastmaster, but the Dire will end up cleaning it up. The double damage on QO, just a little they needed to tip the scales. Cold Embrace will set up for the raises onto Jo. He is the lone survivor. It's him versus the world, a one on three. They saved the Primal Roar till the very end. His Living Armor is now expired, oh. and they'll use the Wyvern ulti, the Winter's Curse, to lock him down, and it's a full five. Five man wipe. MVP Phoenix take the fight, and now they will be able to secure Roshan. Still got the medallion. It will do the work, but I'm not sure who exactly will be tanking. <laughs> well, Marsh will try to tank, but he is a. Uh... Well, there you go. The Golden Brace. They've got the Ice Cube. All right. Easy peasy. So, the interesting thing for me was that Gyro just went straight in. Mm -hmm. He was the first one to die. And unfortunately. Uh -oh. Oh, he's just going to get picked up. Fissure into the pit. Oh, he's going to fly out. Call down. We'll clip on the right side. Nuts. Trying to get out of there. He dropped so low. Oh, beautiful disruption so on the march. It keeps him alive. They turn it on to the Vengeful Spirit. Now Chrissy will finish off the Aegis with a Rocket Barrage. He has the Living Armor. It's already expired. Now stunned up from the Split Earth. Too much damage from the Lash. It's another death for Chrissy. Rave finished off the Aegis, but boy, did it come at a big cost. Now Ryo on the run. QL will chase him down. Living Armor maybe buys him a little bit of time here. It's only a level one dagger on QO and maybe Ryo will actually live after all no one else able to pursue Micro book is just so so hard oh, to pass no. up. We'll hold that thought though. Here we go. March walks into it. Jo, he gets stunned up straight away. He'll get brought down before this fight even starts. He's the mech carry as well. They blow up the Beastmaster, but I think MVP Phoenix will be okay with that. Look trade. at that BKB Gyro. Oh, oh, not much is happening. Cold Embrace comes out. That'll keep Febby alive. The Gyro can't stop it. Yules out on the Gyro Copter. Lesh is there with huge damage. Split Earth, Pulse Nova, all the follow up lightning damage without a BKB. Chrissy is destined to fall. He can only make it further out of the base, but down he goes. Now swap from Ninja Boogie. Not going to do a hell of a lot. Disruption will set it up. Can they connect with the stun? Nope. He's just a little bit too far away, but it doesn't matter. They've got the damage. It's a one for three overall with MVP Phoenix taking the fight handily, still with the Aegis and on this, and I think they're just going to back out and play it safe here, Lumi. First Shaker drops a Fissure, but looks like he's going to get caught out here. Blink Requiem on the back line. It hits decently on everybody, but Call Down not doing too much. Meanwhile, Chrissy, BKB activated Overgrowth from high ground to low ground. But uh -oh. that Les Shrak is just not dying. Yep, QL had his BKB on, but he still survives through it, blinks back to safety. Everyone's still alive, but it's Rave that have used their big cooldowns, and they're in a little bit of trouble. Shadow Fiend will indeed be the first death of this fight. Now KP comes in, big damage on him. The Aegis will expire. He gets just a tiny little bit of regen out of it, gives him enough mana to finish off Chrissy. Buyback from him. It's a two for nil as Ryo comes cruising in, still has the Echo Slam, but can't find an opportunity to use it. And now MVP can just back out, knowing that Gyro bought back. Don't give him any way to find a scout there. Uh oh, QO jumps in. Sonic Wave connects on three. Jo will use the BKB straight away. Requiem tickles the dire side, but really doesn't do a hell of a lot. Winner's Curse comes out. Will help isolate them. Call down doing some good damage. No one dead yet, but Rave running out of resources. And there it is, Cold Embrace on top of the disruption. QO will stay alive, and it's Jo that should go down first. But a swap from Ninja Boogie almost keeps him alive. But Lesh is there with the lightning. It'll cost both of them their lives. GG is called, and it's MVP Phoenix that take game one of oh. this best of three elimination series. It don't matter, Lumi. It's over. The GGs have been called. The throne will expire, and... Well, uh, a pretty, uh, pretty dominant victory here from the dire side, MVP Phoenix.